Hi everyone, my name is Jan Dufour and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live just outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Today we're going to talk about some tips and tricks you can do for when you make boo-boos. Now, some people call them bobos when they're like a cut or something. Where I come from, we call them boo-boos. Um, mistakes, let's put it that way. Um, first of all, if you're seeing me on YouTube and you want any of the project sheets, which there will not be one for this, but there will be links to my website for other things, um, you want to go to stampmesilly.com. If you have any questions or if you uh, don't have a demonstrator and want a free catalog, you can contact me at jandufor at yahoo.com. If there's anything you see here that Sampin Up sells that you would like to have, you can go directly to my store online at jandufor.stampinup.net. Okay, well, the first one's the easiest one. Oops, I stamped it crooked, which can be really annoying, especially if you already have the card mostly done. The best thing I can tell you is paper has two sides. We always use both sides if we need to. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp it again. Because you know, I know now how to not make it crooked. Voila, not too bad. We'll keep it. Now, there's another way to take care of it. If, if you've already done it on both sides and it's not working out for you, you can always cover it up. Ooh, that looks good. Put, put dimensionals. Um, you know, put a circle, an element, uh, a flower that you've got stamped off on something else and die cut. Anything to cover up whatever it is that you got messed up. So don't give up on your project. Try making it look right. All right, let's close this up. Then there's the glue stuff. I just I categorized it as glue stuff. I did these ahead of time because some of the glue stuff that you do requires that the glue be dried. So if you look uh, here, oops, here, there's some, some glue that has gone over the edge. I purposely glued it too close to the edge. This one also has like some glue right there. And although it's clear, it shows. And if it were me, I would wanna get rid of it. So there's a couple of things you can do. This is sticky, obviously. Um, these come in a square. You can get them at big box stores in the art department. I cut mine up because what I use to remove glue are the corners and the edges. This way I have more corners and edges. This one needs to be cleaned off. And how I do that is this simple. I just cut it off. The other one, I probably cut till it was all gone. I just give myself clean edges. It doesn't matter. You can cut it at weird angles. There's no, it, it's not gonna hurt it. Um, and that just gives me lots more space that has good edges to grab glue. And then of course, you gotta get rid of this. We'll talk about sticky scissors in a minute. All right, so I have this. I have edges that are nice and clean. You can just rub along the edge where the glue is. And I would say 90% of the time you can get rid of the problem. Every once in a while, if you're using specialty paper um, or, I don't know, some light colored paper, it, it might not take a shine to that. Um, but, and again, I'm sorry if you can't actually see it, but there's no more glue here. It's not sticky. Um, this, I, I have pieces of this I need to clean off there, but the glue itself is gone. Um, so that's one uh, way to do it. If it's small and it doesn't really show, but you don't want it to be sticky like this, you can use your embossed buddy. It's a powder. And yes, it does change the color of it, which most of the time doesn't matter because I'll use my shorts, you know, cause that, that's a good place. Most of the time you can erase or not erase. You can rub the embossed buddy off. In this case, it's a dark color 
and I have to work at it to do it. So this one probably, let me see, yeah, this will remove that too. Oh, look, it takes off powder. Um, this one probably would have been a good candidate. See how it's all curling up and getting on here? That's why you need the edges. You have to kind of convince it to come off by rolling it out of the way. There you go. So now it has no more glue. I used both methods of it, but got rid of the glue. Got to have these squares. They're awesome. You can always, like I said, cover it with an element. But say you just have, where did my little squares go? Uh, oh, yeah, here. But say you just have, you don't want like a whole sentiment. You don't. You don't want that on there. It's not because you made it square. It's because you went, oopsie, and I got some smeared fingerprints and or I touched the edge of it on there. There's this thing called a sand eraser, which um, it's by Tombow, Mono Tombow, and it's a sand eraser. Again, the art section of a big box store will have these. Um, and the nice thing about these is that, now I'll be honest, I don't normally use it on um, designer series paper, so we might see this not work on here because the reason it works on regular cardstock, yeah, we're, we're actually getting down to the center of the paper, which is not colored all the way through. So this is not a good spot for that particular exercise. Our cardstock is solid color. It goes all the way through. There's no white center. So because of that, and this is dark, very dark, so I'm not sure how well that's going to work either, but let's try. You can, for the most part, get rid of little dots. So in other words, if it was a little mess like this, which I guess we could, I guess we could make a little mess. Let's try that. Doing things on the fly. I just want a little thumbprint and then I can show you that it actually does disappear. Do it in a circle. Don't do it all at once. Keep wiping. Um, and you can get this pretty much. This is again a dark color, but I've gotten rid of dark colors before. And you're not hurting the paper because the color goes all the way through. This is a really dark color. This may not work. Lighter colors always work. But I've gotten I've gotten black on white, the paper though. Um, this was a very juicy pad, so it had lots of ink. And you just keep working it, I suppose until you get to the other side of the paper. I haven't gone through it yet. Um, and just keep working at it until it gets to be a respectable size or not as noticeable. Um, again, this is a dark color, juicy ink pad. It's probably the worst case scenario. And of course I picked it to demonstrate because I wanted to fail. Um, and then there's my, my last ditch effort when something like this happens. Ooh, look, a pretty gem. Perfect. <laughs> and that's another way you can make it work. I promise you, this actually does work really well. And it's funny because I use it with Memento Black all the time um, on white cardstock. So it, it does work, I promise. Um, or again, put a gem on it. Let's see, is there anything else I want to show you today? I think not. I think we have accomplished my hacks and trip tips. Let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see. I appreciate you stopping by. Consider subscribing down below if you're on YouTube. I post once a week uh, on Wednesdays, unless there's a flash sale. You can also, if you go to my stamp site, uh, website, stampmesilly.com, you can also subscribe there. You don't need to do it in two places. You'll get notified the once a week. Thanks for stopping by. Bye.